BMW has been making electric cars ever since the i3, but it's taken years for the company to build its first ever purpose-built electric SUV. And here it is, the BMW iX. It's BMW's take on the Audi e-tron, Mercedes EQC, and Jaguar I-Pace. And here are the car wow top 10 things you need to know about it. BMW has been teasing an electric SUV for absolutely ages now. But all this time, they've had you believe the car was going to be called the iNext, after the Vision iNext concept of 2018. Well, that's all changed now, because BMW's confirmed this new car will actually be called the iX, which is a bit strange, because they already have an electric version of a smaller X3 called the iX3. So why not just call it the iX5 or the iX6? I guess it makes sense to BMW not to have a number in its name, surely, uh, unless the X stands for 10, and I've got it all wrong. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? Yeah, the huge grill. The iX is an electric car, so it doesn't even need a grill, let alone a massive pair of tombstones like this. The rest of the car looks pretty similar to the Vision iX concept from 2018. It gets the same really thin headlights, and the bottom edge of the bumpers and doors have chunks of black trim with bright blue highlights, because you have to have blue bits on an electric car. Right? Well, you do if you're BMW. The iX has the same split roof pillar as the concept, and the thin brake lights look really similar too. Overall, I reckon BMW has done a really good job of turning the concept into a production car quite faithfully. But do you think it looks better than an Audi e-tron or a Mercedes EQC? Argue that one out in the comments, you Audi, Mercedes and BMW fanboys. The new BMW iX is about the same size as an X5, but you can't get it with seven seats. At least this means the iX's five seats should be really spacious. There's no need for a long drive shaft to run from the engine to the rear wheels because, of course, it's an electric car. This means BMW could make the floor completely flat inside, so there's more space for your feet. In the front, the new iX looks nothing like any other BMW. I bet you've never seen a hexagonal steering wheel like that before, have you? And that massive curved screen is brand new for the iX. Although, I'll give you a bit more on that later. Unlike other BMWs, there aren't any buttons on the dashboard. There's just a really slim air vent. And there's a big gap between the dashboard and the centre console. You know, where the heating controls usually go. And the gear lever has gone too. Instead, you get a tiny little rocker switch, a bit like the one in the Volkswagen Golf, actually. Underneath the BMW iX's floor sits a 100 kilowatt hour battery, which is good for a range of around 375 miles. That's more than 100 miles further than an Audi e-tron or a Mercedes EQC can manage. And it's even about 25 miles more than a Tesla Model X long range can manage. So well done, BMW. Although the actual range you'll get out of the iX will probably be a bit less than this, just like with all electric cars, than any car, really. When you need to charge it up, you can plug the iX into a 200 kilowatt fast charger. One of these will boost its charge from 10% to 80% full in about 40 minutes. If you can't wait that long, you can stop for a quick splash and dash instead. Plug it in for just 10 minutes and you'll add about 75 miles of range. Well, that is if you can find a 200 kilowatt charger. Some electric motors use rare earth materials. These are really expensive, and mining them out of the ground can produce a load of horrible pollution. And that's not what you want when you're making an electric car, is it? It's supposed to be eco-friendly, after all. The good news is, the BMW iX doesn't use any of these materials, so it's already pretty environmentally friendly before it's even turned a wheel. The iX comes with a dual motor setup, which produces more than 500 horsepower, so it makes more power than the new BMW M3. Not bad, eh? This means this big, luxurious SUV will do 0 to 60 miles an hour in under 5 seconds. BMW has also been testing a triple motor setup, which produces a whopping 720 horsepower, although it hasn't yet confirmed whether it's ever going to fit three motors to the iX. Anyway, who likes the idea of an electric SUV with more power than a BMW M5 competition? I know I do. Now, if you want to watch an electric SUV drag race a supercar, click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen to watch a very cool drag race. BMW's iDrive infotainment system used to be the best in the business, but I reckon the system you get in the latest Mercedes E-Class is even better. However, things could change again because the iX gets a totally new version of BMW's iDrive. It actually reminds me of the Mercedes dual screen system, to tell you the truth, because it combines a 12-inch driver's display with a massive 15-inch central touchscreen. It's absolutely huge, and it stands above the dashboard on these exposed metal legs. Controlling everything with a touchscreen is normally pretty tricky, though, so I'm glad BMW decided 
decided to keep its rotary controller on the center console. And it comes with an upgraded version of BMW's personal assistant. So you can just ask the car to change the air conditioning temperature or program the sat nav and it'll do it for you. Well, it should if it understands you. Sometimes these systems don't. We shall see. The new BMW iX is the first ever luxury car to feature built-in 5G technology. This helps it communicate with other cars and share information really quickly. As a result, every iX can talk to every other iX and it'll let you know about heavy traffic ahead, upcoming road signs, and even how many parking spaces are free nearby. The iX also has the fastest onboard computer ever fitted to a BMW. To give you an idea of how much data is constantly shuffling about, it can transmit all the information stored on a DVD in about one second. So that means you could watch every James Bond movie ever made in less than 30 seconds. The BMW iX is a big SUV, but it's been designed to be as aerodynamic as some sports cars. It has a drag coefficient of just 0.25 cd. Now that number probably doesn't mean anything to you, but it does actually equate to the fact that the new iX can slip through the air just as easily as the new slinky BMW 4 Series. And that's a two-door coupe. All this is thanks to its blanked off bumpers, aerodynamic alloy wheels, and its totally smooth underfloor. Because it produces so little drag, the iX should be really quiet when you're cruising along because it should result in less wind noise. And the less drag it produces, the further it can drive between charges, obviously. In fact, BMW says all these aerodynamic tweaks help boost the car's range by 40 miles. And that could be the difference between making it home or having to charge en route. Now, if you click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen, you can see what happened when I took a bunch of popular electric cars and drove them for as long as I could until their batteries completely ran flat to find out what happened. The BMW iX comes packed with a whole load of sensors, so it always knows exactly what's going on around you. A load of these are actually hidden behind the kidney grill. It's probably one of the reasons why it's so massive, actually. To make sure these sensors can always see properly, the grill comes with a self-healing coating. This can repair scratches and small chips automatically, so there won't be any expensive visits to the body shop in order to let your sensors see again. Anyway, all these sensors are part of BMW's latest driver assistance system, which will accelerate, brake and steer the car for you on motorways. And it also works along with the car's inbuilt 5G network to communicate with the other cars and automatically slow you down if you're coming up to traffic or to an accident. Although, like with all these systems, you still need to keep your hands on the wheel because that is the law, I'm afraid. BMW will start building the new iX next year, and it'll go on sale in November 2021. BMW hasn't yet said how much the car will cost, but it's going up against the Audi e-tron and the Mercedes EQC, so it's going to set you back at least £70,000, probably quite a bit more. And then when you spec it up, you could be looking at well over £90,000, so pretty expensive.